Police on Long Island are looking for the person who shot a cat, leaving it paralyzed. CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis spoke to the animal's owners and concerned community in Glen Cove. A harmless, harmless animal crying for help. Michelle Perrone heard the cries outside her Taft Place home after returning from a walk with her family Tuesday evening, discovering a helpless cat. Again, this fence. She took the injured cat to her neighbor, a veterinarian. She told me the gruesome news that it was shot twice by a gun. Um, that alarmed me because it's right near where my child plays basketball in our backyard. My daughter could have gotten hit by the bullet. I don't know where it came from. Nor did they know who the eight pound cat belonged to until the vet found a microchip leading to the owners. They had been searching for the indoor outdoor cat, Gracie, after she never came home Wednesday morning like usual. It's just terrible what they did. It's not a person, but it's an animal, and I mean, it's part of the family. She loved it out here. When we walk the dogs with my son, she follows us, she comes with us, the neighborhood knows her as the cat Gracie. The Glen Cove Police Department is asking anyone with information to come forward so they can figure out who shot this helpless animal. First off, it's animal cruelty. And also, if you're shooting a gun in a, in a residential neighborhood, you know, people are at risk to, uh, who knows, you know, one of those rounds could have went to a window, could have struck a pedestrian. Police believe Gracie was shot Tuesday around 7 p.m. They should be prosecuted fully. Then I have infants, I have two twins. They could have been hit by a bullet and killed. One of the bullets is sitting on Gracie's spine, so she's in the care of a vet specialist. Her family sparing no expense. If she took two bullets, she had, we had to try to give her a shot at life. Meanwhile, hoping police catch the shooter to give this community a shot at peace. Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News.